Hi, in this video I continue with the rectangle select tool and the rest of the options. The next option is fixed and from here we can choose what to be locked, the aspect ratio, the width, the height or the size and I'm going to click and drag like this to make a selection, click on the fixed option, then I'll leave it to aspect ratio and if I resize the selection you can see that I'm resizing and keeping the aspect ratio. If I select the next option width I'm going to lock the width and be able to resize only the height but notice here that the width auto changed to 100 pixels so I'll be able to modify the height and the width will be locked to 100 pixels so if I click here to resize this you'll see that the selection will auto change to this width 100 pixels so you can adjust this from over here for example if you want it to be 150 pixels you can type it here and then when you click to adjust the selection you'll see that the width changed to 150 pixels and it's locked to that number you can adjust only the height and same goes to the height as well if we select this click here you'll see that it auto adjusted the height to 100 pixels and now we can adjust only the width of the selection using the mouse if we select the next option size and click here this will lock it to 100 by 100 pixels a square and we can't resize this with our mouse we can resize it by changing the numbers here and we can also move the selection you can do a more precise uh, positioning of the selection using the position options here if I type 0 and 0 for example the selection will go in the left upper corner as you can see here we can also use these arrows here to position the selection we can move it right or down Also you can select to move it by uh, percent inches and so on from this option over here. If we uncheck the fixed option here, this size option will become available and we can adjust the size using these small arrows or we can type in here for example 250 by 250 pixels these options the fixed uh, position and size are also found in the crop tool and can be very useful when cropping images I'm going to go back to the rectangle select tool the next option highlight it's off by default if we select this and make a selection notice that the area outside of the selection is grayed out this is on by default in the crop tool so if you like to have a highlight when selecting with the rectangle select tool you can turn this on next we have some guides options here by default no guides option is selected if we select center lines and make a selection you'll see that now we have these guides also we can change that to rule of thirds rule of fifths golden sections and the diagonal lines uh, these are used in photography and also if for example you are creating some digital art you can use them for composing the image if you are interested in this just do a google search on for example rule of thirds and you will find information on uh, how this is used and for what purpose I'm going to change this option back to no guides and next to be able to demonstrate the auto shrink option I'm going to make a selection then use control comma to fill with black color then control shift a to deselect now I'm going to make another selection around this rectangle and now if I click on the auto shrink option notice that the selection shrinks and we have only the black rectangle selected if I go ahead and make another one over here control comma to fill in with black color then I'll make another selection like this auto shrink and you see that now I have both objects within this selection now let's see what the shrink merged option does 
For this I'm going to create a new layer using this option and uh, use the defaults, just click OK. Next I'm going to make another selection, Control comma to fill with black color, Control shift a to deselect and now we have this black rectangle on the other layer over here and if I go ahead and make a selection around these all of these rectangles and then click auto shrink notice that I only selected this one because I am on this layer I have made this layer active if I go ahead and make the background layer active make a selection around all of the rectangles again click auto shrink you'll see now that I'm selecting these rectangles which are on the bottom layer the background if I make another selection again selecting all of the rectangles this time click shrink merged and then choose auto shrink notice now that I have selected all of the rectangles so when we have the shrink merged option active when uh, shrinking a selection GIMP is taking information from all of the visible layers if this is off, GIMP is taking information only from the active layer. So that's pretty much all for the Rectangle Select 2 and the basics of its options. I'm not going to discuss the Ellipse Select 2, I'm going to skip this one. Next video for the beginner's guide I'm going to jump to the Free Select 2. The Ellipse Select 2 is pretty much the same with the same options as the Rectangle Select 2 except that we don't have the option to uh, create rounded corners here and with this one we make a selection in the form of ellipse or a circle so all of the options of the rectangle select tool apply also for this one and uh, that's it for this tutorial I hope that it was useful if it was like it leave me a comment if you're new to my tutorials subscribe and visit my channel for more and I also made a Twitter account recently so if you want to follow me on Twitter you can do that link is in the description of the video also if you want to help my tutorials link is also in the description of the video to my pledge campaign and that's it for this one bye